All right, it's finally hunting season. Your bow is set up, it's shooting like it is, and I'm guessing you picked your sight because you like the pin configuration, whether it's the color, the size of the pin, the number of the pins, what have you. You picked the rest, I'm guessing, because of its overall reputation. It clears the arrow cleanly, it shoots accurately. And if I had to put money on it, I'm guessing you got a stabilizer too. But do you know why you picked the stabilizer you have? So the obvious answer is that a stabilizer stabilizes the entire shooting system as the bow's energy is transferred to the arrow. But these things do a heck of a lot more than that. The most obvious feature of any stabilizer, of course, is the length. But if you look closely, a lot of them have weights in a lot of different places. And that all depends upon where you want the center of gravity to sit and balance your bow. When you're at full draw, that's when the stabilizer's first and most important job comes into play. The entire system is tweaked out, all the tension are on the limbs, and a stabilizer helps you hold that pin exactly where you need it to put that arrow exactly where you need it. We've all seen the Olympic archers with three foot long stabilizers, and I'm sure they work great, but imagine trying to haul that thing around in the deer woods. I'm a fan of a seven inch stabilizer. It's long enough to get the weight low and forward, but it's short enough that I'm not gonna be bumping into absolutely everything in the woods. It helps me aim accurately and put that arrow right where I need it.